Hello, this is Carol Lemke from BC Gurus, and this is part 7 of the Secure Zone series. In this video, we will be jumping into BC and reviewing how you are able to manage Secure Zone subscribers in the back end of BC. To give you a basic intro of what we will be covering, we will review how to view subscribers in a Secure Zone. You can do this within the actual Secure Zone, viewing a list, exporting a list and then going in to view individual subscriber info. We will be going through what details you can view under a specific customer profile. We will also be reviewing how to manage a user's subscriptions, so secure zone subscriptions, expiration date, all that stuff. And we will be reviewing how to manage subscription orders and invoices, so if they have recurring payments set up for a secure zone. And lastly, covering an advanced subscriber import, so how to quickly import a lot of subscribers to a single secure zone. To view a list of subscribers in a specific secure zone, you will navigate to that secure zone by going to Site Manager, Secure Zones, and then selecting that secure zone that you would like to view and then navigating to the Subscribers tab. Here you can view subscribers in a few different ways. First, you'll notice that there's a table that will list out each subscriber's name, email address, opt-in status, and expiration date. Next, you will see two action links. If you click View, this will take you to the user's profile in the CRM. If you click Delete, the user will be removed from the Secure Zone. The last thing you can do is export a report as an Excel file, PDF file, or CSV file of all the users within this secure zone. When viewing the details of a subscriber, you are able to edit their information in the back end. To get to a subscriber's details page, you can perform a search or click view from the subscriber's list within a specific secure zone. Once you're on the user's details tab, you will see all of that user's info. To edit this info, you would click edit and change whatever is needed. When you're all done, hit save and finish. Here you will be able to edit basic contact info and their username and password. You can also edit any CRM fields in this view if there are any associated with this customer. To manage a customer's subscriptions, locate the customer you would like to manage and navigate to the Subscriptions tab. Here you can choose what secure zone to subscribe the user to or remove them from. You can also set the expiration date for their access to each secure zone. By default, it's set to January 9999, but you can set it for whatever date you would like. You can also send them a password recovery email, which will send them an email with the password reset link, or you can send them an email with login details, which will include their username and again that password reset link. These emails can be customized in the back end. The first one will send out the password retrieve email which is again just an email with a link for them to reset their password and the second email option will send them secure zone login details so again that password reset login link and then also their username and password. If they do click on the password reset link they will be taken to a system page. The system page they will be sent to is the password reset page where they will add in their new password, confirm it. After they submit their new password, they will be redirected to the password reset success page. Be sure to customize all these system pages and the system email that is sent. To view and manage a subscriber's order and invoices, you need to locate the customer in the CRM and navigate to the Orders tab. Here you will see a list of all the orders a customer has made, which includes buying a Secure Zone subscription. If you plan to make edits to an order, make sure to log in to World Secure Systems domain of the site. If recurring billing is set up for Secure Zone membership, you will see a repeat of that order and the first of the recurrence will have a circular two arrow symbol to the right of it. To view an individual order, you can click that order name or click view. But when it comes to actually canceling a recurring subscription, you will need to go into the original re recurring order. The item that has the two arrow circular symbol, again, is what you would need to go into to cancel recurring orders. Within that order, open up recurring slash direct debit and click edit. Here you will change the recurring status to disabled. This is a warning that will show up saying that payment will continue to be automatically processed for invoices that have already been issued but not yet paid. 
To prevent automatic payment processing for these invoices, please select direct debit to none in addition to disabling recurring billing. So click OK. And so for direct debit, you would select none instead of credit card. When you were done, you would hit save and finish. For any payments that fail, all admins will be notified in a workflow email. If you would like to subscribe multiple users to a secure zone, BC allows you to do so by performing an advanced contact import. You can get to the import page by going to the CRM customers area and selecting the import contacts advanced button. So CRM customers import contacts advanced. This will take you to a page where you can download an import template file. Once you download this, you will add the user information you need, like name and email. You can also set a secure zone expiration date in the import. Once you fill out this file and upload it, then you can specify what secure zone to subscribe everyone to. You'll hit next and then you will upload this file and then all users in the import will be subscribed to that one specified secure zone. Keep in mind that it's one secure zone per import, so if you do need to subscribe people to other secure zones, you're just going to have to do a new import.